Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Jonah Central tutorial, and you guessed it, I am Jonah. So we're going to continue our uh, exploration of gri uh, drivers and doing automatic keyframing using expressions. So in the previous video, I showed you how to create this uh, sin uh, frame divided by 10. I'll explain that real quickly, but it creates this motion right here. So, uh, uh, I don't really know how the sin function works to create this motion because I haven't learned that math yet. But frame is basically our replacement for x in this uh, equation. And then I divide frame by 10 because frame on its own is incredibly fast. So, uh, let me show you two cool expressions. So, uh, if you put this into a graphing calculator, this, this is what the graph looks like, by the way. Uh, this is called a sine wave, and it's just this easing motion, uh, which creates the cool, <laughs> creates this kind of easing motion up and down. So now, if I went a sin, and then bracket, sin, frame, divided by 10, and then two brackets, as you can see, I'm now creating linear motion instead of easing motion. And this is called a triangle wave. This is what it looks like on a graphing calculator. And as you can see by the looks of the graph, instead of being this wavy motion, it's sharp turns, which in turn uh, creates this sharp motion for whatever object you're using. All right, I got one more to show off, and this one is pretty nifty. So if you go a tan, tan, bracket, frame, divided by 10, this is what this is gonna look like on a, uh, a graphing calculator and this is what it looks like in motion in blender so if you if you take a look at the graph as you can see it's going up and up and up and up and then it shoots down it keeps going up and up and up and up and it shoots down that's basically what's happening to this cube because since x is frame if you go along the x-axis of the graph as you can see uh, the y position is changing and that displacement in y is what creates our movement so that's pretty nifty Anyways, that's all I have to uh, show off. I'm sorry I can't explain the mathematical reason why this happens, because I have not learned that yet. But uh, I hope the, this video helps out, and I hope you have a better understanding of expressions in general in Blender. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. See you later.